Hello gentle people, thank you for joining me for another video. If you've been with me on the journey so far, big up. And if you're just joining me today for the first time, thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. So in my last video, I'll put a link in the description box below. I was talking about uh, Shiva artist paint sticks, which are these little bits of yummy goodness right here. So they're an oil-based product. Um, linseed oil is uh, the primary carrier in here. And I love it because you can work on fabric with uh, the Shiva paint sticks. I wanted to compare Shiva paint sticks today to Pebio's set of color. And okay, yeah, it's backwards, but um, it's also a type of fabric paint. And I have three different colors to show you what they look like. You have the red, the yellow, and doo -doo -doo -doo, this is turquoise. All right, I love turquoise. It's like my color. I'm feeling it. So these are what the bottles look like. They're not very big, but they pack a lot of punch. And what's really cool about the PBO set of color, well, I have the transparent one. They have them in opaque and transparent. And with the transparent one, you can do something called sun prints, right? So you basically get a piece of fabric and you mix some of the set of color transparent with water, not too much, like you might be tempted to mix a little bit too much water in there. I would say maybe two parts set of color to one part water. And once you mix that up and put it on your fabric, anything that you put that blocks out images on that fabric you put it out in the sun and you'll have a perfect impression so what was so not cute was i decided to do this this past sunday and we're in south florida it is always sunny here and for some reason on sunday it just was not happening so it was a very overcast and rainy day so i was like great the day i decide to do sun prints it's just not happening for me in any event, uh, I'm going to show you the fabric that I was working on is this fabric right here and I put the red, the green and the yellow on it as you can see and the way the set of color works is I had put down some stencils on this and obviously if you have stencils or cutouts that don't have those harsh edges with that space in there then you're just going to have the image itself but I just threw some stencils on there because I wanted to get an idea of how the set of color would work on fabric and as you can see it's very valuable vibrant right the colors were pretty amazing and then I noticed though in the places where like towards the end when the green was running out I kind of threw some more water in there so that's why I was saying don't be tempted to like over dilute it too much with water because it will cut down on the vibrancy of the colors if that's what you're going for that's pretty much okay though so Doo -doo -doo -doo. that's what uh, the stencils look like and as you can see there are places where it just was not happening because like I said it was not a very sunny day at all it was very overcast so I'm going to try this again <laughs> on a sunny day it's, it's actually not very sunny now either so it's definitely not happening today so again that is what the set of color PBO set of color transparent and like I said they have different kinds you have to make sure you're using the transparent one if you want to try with any sun prints so the thing with set of color though is once you put it on fabric when it's dry you turn it over on the reverse side and you iron it for two or three minutes and it's pretty much heat set and if you remember when we talked about the Shiva paint sticks you basically heat set as well on fabric but here's the kicker you cannot put any fabric that you've used the Shiva paint sticks on to be dry clean you can't send them to be dry clean because there's something in the process that will kind of mess the paint up even though as long as you're not dry cleaning you're good you can wash it the Shiva paint sticks don't change the hand of the fabric which is pretty awesome and I was kind of messing about uh, last night and if you can see these are with stencils the rubber stamps uh, weren't working too good I basically put the stamps behind the fabric and then just rubbed over the top with the paint stick but the stencils came out pretty awesome right those are super cute so this is dry so basically I could iron it on the back and I'd be good to go but again you won't be able to dry clean anything that you've used the Shiva paint sticks on with the set of color however the transparent uh, you can 
you can dry clean any kind of fabric so if you do have something i don't know maybe something silk maybe something fancy that you're working on that needs to be dry cleaned don't use the shiva paint sticks on those but you can definitely go ahead and use the set a color all right so that is what i wanted to talk about today oh one more thing i also mentioned and i can't find it no the markle artist paint sticks and in the previous video i mentioned that the markle they're harder to get and i did a little bit of research and duh because it's pretty much the same thing right made by the same company the same brand but the markle is what they're called outside of the united states so they're called shiva paint sticks in the u.s and they're called markle which is weird because i got this one on amazon but again they're pretty much the same thing and they're actually spelled the same way so that should have been a giveaway you see paint stick s-t-i-k all right so again if you're outside of the u.s look for markle and if you're inside the u.s then look for shiva paint sticks so and also try out the set of color transparent uh, so that is pretty much it thank you for joining me and if you have any questions please make sure to comment below alrighty thank you peace